Brian Dwyer is an engineer from Sandia National Lab. He came to Las Cruces recently to do some digging with NMSU professor David Johnson. What we'd like to identify is com a comparison of the conventional way of growing using synthetic fertilizers versus this new idea where it's more organic and sustainable. Dwyer and Johnson, along with two other engineers, weren't just putting shovel to soil. They were digging for data. Data, Dwyer says, could indicate whether a new process by Johnson means a new way to store carbon emissions. To see if we can lower the water consumption that's required, lower the fertilizer use. And by doing that, you improve the environmental conditions because you have less synthetic fertilizer that can end up in the groundwater and the surface water, which is a problem, and we, many industries have shown that as a, a serious problem. And ultimately to see if we can store carbon in the soil to help reduce the CO2 emissions. Emissions that many scientists say are one cause of climate change. The two other engineers were there from Los Alamos Laboratories. James Bearfield completed some hands-on field testing of the equipment. You take a laser and you focus it down to a, a small spot and you generate a little plasma. It's sort of like a little spark. Uh, we wavelength resolve the emission from the plasma and you get a spectrum and that spectrum turns out to be unique to each element in the periodic table. If the technology sounds familiar, that's because it's similar to technology NASA used on the Curiosity rover to test the Martian soil. That technology was developed in part at Los Alamos. So even today we found a few small glitches that you know we'll fix when we go back to the laboratory, tweak it up and make it a little bit more robust so that people can be, first of all, comfortable and safe using the device. Eventually what we like to do is have it to a point where, you know, a novice, somebody that's not familiar with all of the technical aspects of it, can take it in the field and make these kinds of measurements without, you know, us being around. Maybe we get a phone call if they have a problem or something like that. So it should be much more user-friendly. Loan Lay is a chemical engineer by training, but she knows a few things about how plants grow. And you, you can see the big difference from the conventional to the sustainable right? Sustainable soil. And you can see there's a big difference. Lay also worked on the equipment's software. At the current application, we go out there and measure the soil. So what we're really interested in right now is looking at the carbon, the nitrogen, and the phosphate content of the soil and see how that is contributed to the crop's uh, yield. Um, and it is very important uh, to see all these elements that um, that makes a big difference in the, the crop yield. Dr. David Johnson is an engineering professor at NMSU and a senior project specialist with the Institute for the Energy and the Environment. This project came about from his research and others. He hopes the commercial farming industry will buy into some of these new technologies he's working on. And according to his results, that industry certainly has reason to be interested. Sloan Patton, KRWG News.